Good morning, this is Steve O'Hare and this morning I'm analysing crude oil. I'm going to look at the WTI crude oil first, then move on to the Brent crude oil. Uh, the prices are uh, different. Uh, Brent crude oil trades at a premium of around about $3 at the moment to WTI crude oil. So the first, uh, first chart we're going to look at is the weekly chart. Uh, we've um, talked about this over the last few weeks about these uh, horizontal resistance levels that the market is struggling with at the moment and we can see if we look closely on the weekly chart we've posted a hanging man candle and that's a negative candle uh, and shows uh, and we've uh, had follow through this week negative follow through where prices have been under pressure and rejected currently the move above these resistance levels at 65 21 and 66.53 so if we move down towards the uh, the daily chart we can see that we are in a bullish channel moving higher it's a corrective formation and uh, this has been going on since we saw the lows last April um, we're getting some bearish divergence with the momentum slowing down while prices are moving higher. So there is plenty of room for a correction lower without impacting this bullish channel. If we uh, move closer to the hourly chart, we can pick up some levels that we should be looking at on a daily basis, on the intraday basis. Uh, currently trading around the midpoint of this um, chat, this uh, sideways channel we're in, we're trading at 65.18. On the downside, we've got support, previous swing low, which uh, took place yesterday at 2 o'clock, and that is at 63.83. Uh, below that also, we have a 50% Fibonacci retracement level. That comes in at 63.49. And the real uh, larger support level to watch is 63.07. And uh, above this, we've got resistance at 66.41. And the swing high back from the uh, 8th of March at 67.80. So a bit mid-range at the moment, no real um, signs of uh, of any sort of, uh, whether it were you know, bullish or bearish um, gaining ground. So uh, we look really, I think if we get a break above the 65.55 level today, uh, we should look for a retest at 66.41. Um, on the Brent crude oil, Again, very similar story on the longer term charts is almost a, a sort of a parabolic extension higher. This impulsive move um, shows no real signs of slowing or did not until last week when we bullish, uh, posted a bullish hammer. Again, that's the same sort of uh, candle we're looking to post. I know it, it's Wednesday, uh, but it's a lot negative price action and uh, prices have been under pressure this week. So a mild correction wouldn't be a surprise. Uh, on the daily chart, again, we can see we broke out of this triangle formation and we've had this impulsive move higher and we're just going through a correction at the moment. Uh, looking at the intraday levels on the uh, Brent crude oil, we're trading again mid-range of the channel, 68.33, trading around the uh, Ichimoku, Ichimoku cloud on an hourly chart. So there is pressure on. In the last hour, we formed a bearish engulfing or bearish, nearly a bearish outside can, a bearish engulfing. And um, the support below, we look at around about $67. And below that, we see 66.24. Uh, above the resistance comes in at 69.67. And further to that, 71.04 looks to be the main uh, resistance that we would look for. So again, mid-range. Um, no real bias at the moment or look to buy dips or sell rallies around these uh, resistance and support levels. Hope that's helped. Thanks very much for joining me and see you next week.